Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I'm here today with Kate Nicholson and her husband, Jonathan Booth, at their studio, Kate Nicholson Ceramics. Thank you for having us today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. Now, Kate and I met a couple weeks ago at the Oneness Festival yes. at House 21. We had been friends on Instagram for a while and I was looking forward to meeting her and we had such a great time with our lesson and Kate has agreed to a quick little interview and a tour of her space. So to start, Kate, where are you from? Uh, yeah, we're from New Zealand. Okay. Yeah, and we came to Taiwan around 13? 2009. 2009. Okay. And what brought you to Taiwan? Um, we were just traveling at the time and we thought we would do one year in Taiwan, like teaching. Right. Um, we were in our 20s, early, like mid, 20, mid to late 20s. Right. And we thought, oh, it's a great place to just stop in, have a look around and then travel around. We were planning to go to the UK originally because we have, um, uh, what do you call that visa? Like an ancestry visa yeah. from right. the UK. Yeah. Right. Um, but we never ended up going there and then we just stayed in Taiwan the whole time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And were you always in Taichung or were yeah, you Yeah, pretty in? much. I did work in Taipei in, the PR, in PR okay. for, for a brand consultancy for about three years. But okay. I lived between Taichung and Taipei. So we had like an apartment in Taipei and then also a house in Taipei. Okay, and that's what your background job was before? Um, yeah, I, I still do also work in, um, like my day job I guess, okay. is working in um, writing and editing in the art design and architecture field. So, okay, yeah. and Jonathan, what are you working as? So I'm a teacher at a high school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've done a bit of work in different, um, I guess, bike industry companies as well. But right. yeah, for the most part, teaching. Okay. Yeah, and his teaching skills come in handy for me when right. I do my workshops. Right, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're in uh, Kate's workshop right now, and she does have classes. Um, we'll post the schedule for that. Also, all your information Thanks. on Instagram and everything. So from New Zealand, background in PR. And how did the, do you call yourself a ceramics artist or a potter? Uh, yeah, I prefer to call myself a potter because I do okay. think it's a little bit more like organic, grassroots, yeah. like right. down to earth. Yeah. Okay, and that's how we are here. <laughs> and what is your focus? Do you do hand building or do you use the wheel primarily? Yeah, I can use the wheel. Okay. Um, I am trying to use the wheel, but I, I my passion lies in hand building. Okay. Yeah, so I just find, um, I think I really respect um, wheel throwing, right. um, but I just find that um, the uh, hand building, I just, I don't know what it is, I can't even explain why right. I just find something more creative about it or more, um, something that interests me more. Right, and I know that when you say you want something hands-on, you're hands-on on the wheel. Yes, but yes. But this I find you can control more. Yeah, and I just find there's more skill scope to it I guess. Right. Yeah. I don't want to say that wheel throwing is not creative because it's very creative. Yes. Um I just like the variety you get with hand building. Right. And I think is the difference. Okay. And then also uh, with the wheel, we're gonna show the wheel later for those of you who don't know. Um, I also find sometimes people are making something and then you're like stop right there. I love that vase and then it goes higher and then it comes out. Yeah. And so it's just kind of, it's it's something that you don't really have so much control over. Yeah, I think once you get very good at it, you do have a lot of control and right. people can do amazing things on right. the wheel. And you can also, I do, I, when I work on the wheel, I do tend to like throw something and then alter it by hand. Right. Like I can't help myself, right. I have to, Manipulate it by hand somehow. Yeah, some <laughs> yeah. Details yeah maybe something. like graffito or carving into it or something right. <laughs> that makes it you know less wheel throw looking. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And with hand building, because I also studied pottery in university, oh, right. um, and I did kind of focus more on hand building. I just find sometimes you're starting with something and it can change to something completely different. Yeah, that's one nice thing about hand building, yeah, right. for sure. You're not constrained to the circular shape that right. you would obviously have on a wheel. Right. Sometimes constraint is nice, right? right? And you can get a lot of creativity from that constraint. But yeah, with hand building, you're, the kind of world's your oyster with what you want to right. make, yeah. Right. Which can also mean, so for Jonathan, when he does, he's going, doing hand building now, he's working on, he you. He tends to work on one collection and do the same thing and perfect it. Right. Yeah, whereas for me, I end up constantly making new yeah, things all the time. Over, yeah. Which is why, actually, yeah. I would love to make collections in 
sell. But right now, I feel I'm still finding my place and right. my thing that I would want to make all the time. Right. Uh, whereas the workshops give me the creativity to create new things for students to do and try new techniques and right. perfect those and then move on to something else. Okay. I, I quite like this. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to look at what you've done with your students in your workshop. I know there was one just yeah. yesterday. So we'll look at that as well. Now, is there something simple you can show us at the Oneness Festival? You were showing us how to make the little pendants. Mm. And we will post something that we're going to do before and the after of me making the pendant and then when it's all done and beautiful. Um, we're also going to see her studio. She's got a rooftop garden. She's got a little working space downstairs that we're going to see as well. Plus, you also have a kiln, your own kiln here. Yeah, kiln, yeah, yeah. Kiln, yeah, kiln. kiln. <laughs> She's killing it. So we're going to see that as well, um, and we'll post all of that. Is there something simple you can show our viewers just yeah. to get them we started? Can, we can all make Yeah, let's make something. So we start with like a little, we're going to make a spoon. Okay, we're going to make a spoon. Yeah. Okay. So this is, we might need the water because sometimes the clay will get dry. Okay. Um, so first you need to use this part of your hand. Okay. And a little, about two thirds up. Okay. You want to grasp it here, okay. hold this, and then squeeze. Squeeze that. So you're making like a neck on it. Okay. So this part here is going to be the spoon's head and this will be the handle. Okay. So keep going until it's like, Something like this kind of width, maybe like a thumb width. Okay. Oh, that's already. Yeah. I'm already. Yeah, don't, 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 don't do it anymore. <laughs> you can stop now. Okay. <laughs> Hold it here. Okay. And take this. And we just use this other finger, this okay. other hand, the same motion. Okay. And you kind of twist it and right. then move it downwards. So you're kind of, I guess, pulling it and making it longer. Don't squeeze too much. And don't I'm using this part of my hand. Okay, only the. And you want to turn it. Okay. So that it stays in a circular kind of uh, shape. Okay. We won't get it too long now. We'll make it longer later. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's stay about it, there is good. It will be a spoon later. Yeah. About there is fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, oh, sorry, hold it here again. Um, if it's getting dry like this, let me know. Okay. And we can squirt a little bit of, um, okay. a little bit of water on it I've just to it. make sure. And you can always use your finger to just smooth out some of those cracks now before they get Bigger. worse. Okay. You know? Yeah, clay will always do this. Yes. Right out over it's time. good to have the spray bottle. Yeah, yeah. It's an essential tool. Okay, so now hold it again in this, um, I don't know, what the webbing. I don't yeah, know what that. right. And then just press, see where it's like square here? Yes. You need to just press this on this kind of angle with your thumb okay. and make that as round as possible. Okay. So you can also use your two forefinger and thumb as well. We want to just get this a little bit rounder and get rid of that sharp edge. Okay. Yeah. Mine looks like a railroad tie, but... This is going to be really cute. <laughs> I'll do it. Mine not so much. No, it's also <laughs> cute. Also cute. Okay. okay. So now, once we've done this, we hold this part. Okay. You know your hand has like a, a dip in it. Right. So you want to hold it, this part, in the dip. In the dip. In the okay. kind of circle of your hand. Okay. Take your thumb mm -hmm. and press into the middle. You want to leave some gap at the top. Okay. And you press in here. Okay. And that creates kind of a dip like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, so now here comes the pinching part. Okay. So we take these two fingers, your pinch, forefinger pinch. and your thumb. Okay. And you just... You want to kind of angle your thumb in a little bit, in, okay. and you're, you're kind of creating like a shelf inside. Okay. Don't go too far. You want to keep a wall on your spoon. Let's we'll see that. So make sure your th finger is coming right over the back of the spoon okay. when you're pinching. I think you've made this. Maybe you made this before, Jenny. Oh, yeah, well, now. Keep your wall bigger. You want to keep. Yeah, well. You want to keep wall. Yeah, you want to keep a wall just a little bit bigger there. Okay. So you can see mine is like a hole inside. <laughs> Yours is nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. We can, we can make this, you know. I did study this before, but it's been a while. No, yeah. <laughs> it takes a while to get back into it again. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we smooth this off. Do you okay, need some water? Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, smooth off these edges. That's a good thing about clay is that you can keep changing the shape of it if you make a mistake. Right. Yeah, yeah. and you can put water on it and it fixes it. 
stuff again. Yes, use the water to smooth out any cracks that you see. Okay. Um, let's just. Let's just fix mine. <laughs> Good. More like a spoon. He's yeah, done. I've done one before. He's done it before. Okay. He, he's yeah. my, I do this in a class, so he, yeah. he's my guinea pig for all the classes. Okay. So yeah. I make him make everything. I should have taken a class and then, then done this, right? No, it's good. <laughs> I will be taking a class, so if you want to join me on the next workshop, I'm going to be in one of them. Yeah, that'd be good. Then we'll do a part two of this. Okay, now it's looking better. We'll just pretend that we'll cut all of this and just pretend oh, I didn't have. I love your spoon. Yes. Okay. Okay. Look at my spoon. Okay, wait. We haven't finished yet. Oh, okay. okay. So now we have our spoon. Okay. So what you need to do is hold it again here. And then again, you take this action. And when I'm doing it, I turn it just a little, squeeze down. Turn it just a little. Squeeze down, not too hard. Okay. Turn it just a little, squeeze. See, it's keeping it round. Okay. So you need to use, I'm using this part. Okay. okay. Am I too top heavy though? Hold it. Oh, hold it. Ho hold it here at oh. its neck. Okay. Yeah, you can also hold it if you want like, like this. Okay. And then do it as well. And once it gets too long, then, or if it starts to crack, keep an eye on it. Okay. It can start to crack. I'm still looking at him. It's okay, good, 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 good. It is him. <laughs> So once it starts to get too long, let me get a knife. Sorry. Okay. Knife. We're going to cut it. Yeah. We'll cut it and then we can put some decoration on it. Okay. So these are the decorations that we had yeah. also at the oneness, oneness yeah. event. So we can make it your own. And then for the firing process, it's one time to bisque fire. Bisque fire, yes. and then you glaze it. Yes. And then the second fire. Yes. Okay. And the first firing is is lower temperature. Okay. It's all coming back. Yeah. <clears throat> you need a little bit of water. Okay. So you can just go through it and use your finger to okay. get rid of all just of those, and just shape it how you want it. Okay. You can just leave it on here to do it, so it's a little less. Okay, um, so this is the the subject of one of your workshops. Yes, we make this and also a bowl to match a pinch a pinch bowl. Okay, and or the, bowl. The, the class that you just had was something to do with leaves. You were doing something. Okay, longer than her if you want. Yes, the one we did um, we foraged for leaves in our garden. Which we'll see. Um, so we use real leaves. We cut slabs and use real leaves. Wonderful. Place them over a mold, right. and then that makes a. Um, and then that makes a bowl or a hanging plant. Okay. So we'll show those to you in a second once we're finishing our spoons here. So then what you can do, it looks good. Yeah. Look at my spoon. Come <laughs> along. Super cute. I might put Jonathan's in front of me. <laughs> I like it. For a photo. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, so if I was married to a potter, then it would be a lot better. Right? Yeah, he gets a lot of practice. <laughs> you want this thick. Well, you can make yours flatter yeah, and wider. He wants to hold on this spoon. Yeah, yeah, he wants a good handle good of this spoon. spoon. Yeah. Spoon. <laughs> okay, so mine's also not perfect. It's a quick spoon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so once we've done this, then we can decorate the handle. Okay. So you can choose any of these little decorations. So okay. if you do want to go for something smaller, yeah. okay. and these oh, are and these are no, 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 no. oh, those are bisque. Um, I make them from uh, vintage buttons. Buttons, yes. Yeah. So we learned that from the oneness workshop as well. So these are because you collect buttons, right? Yes, I collect buttons. <laughs> and. Um, Actually, I haven't collected them recently, but I do have a big collection from when I'm extra passionate about it. Okay, well, if I find buttons, I know where to... Yes, please. Especially old ones. Yeah. I mean, so... It's, it's often no shortage. No. 
depending on. So it just popped a hole in the end. Okay, this one's cool. I don't yeah, this one might work. That. Might be a little too big. Wide. Um, and you can also it. test it on here to see, you know, okay. and then like stick it next to it. It will expand a little bit, so don't press too hard. It almost looks like a silver dollar, like those shells. Yeah, this yeah. one too. Okay. A bit so that one's a thick one. Okay. A little, you can see that. And I'll just put a little bit here. Yeah, I tend to put them like down along here. Yeah. Okay. And then that spreads it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then once that's done, you can glaze it and the glaze will pull in these Wonderful. areas. Yeah, so it will look really nice. And I can let you choose the color. There you go. And now you need to let it, let it dry. Let it dry. So we'll do the before and the after. And next time I'll do a thicker one so I can do this uh, silver dollar kind of one. I think that one's cool. Yeah, you'll have a head start on the class. Yeah, I gotta do more of a handle on mine like Jonathan. Oh, oh I mean, next one. This is cool too, oh, yeah. I like it. It's cute, it's very cute. And I actually just bought a wire so I might be able to, uh, hang, to hang it in the kitchen. Oh, cool. So I might be able to um, glaze the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, normally I just glaze the bowl and this part. Okay. Yeah, because the bottom can't be Okay, now we're back with some of the pieces that Kate and her students have made in the workshop. So this is the hand pulled spoon? A uh, pinch, pinch, we pinch pinched technique. It. Yep. So this is what mine's going to look like a little bit because I've used this same vintage button here. And then here is the pinched bowl that also is in your when you take the workshop yes, to make both you make things. a set yeah. right so this is a set there now the workshop that you had the last one yesterday mm. is with the leaves yeah so this one we go into the roof and collect leaves from the roof um and so you can make a bowl which is these are real leaves so you imprint the leaf you can roll a slab uh, which is a flat like i guess plank of clay right. and then you imprint the leaf you, you roll the leaf into it and okay. then you cut out the border of the leaf okay. and then you end up with these with these realistic looking leaf shapes okay. um, and then you can connect them however you'd like using a base okay. over a mold. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to show you the garden later but it's up on the roof and it's a wonderful little oasis in the city so you would have so many uh, different kinds of leaves. Yeah. And I noticed this one's got some different ones. Yeah, here. so this one is one that the student made yesterday. Right. Um, we had like five students yesterday. So most people chose to make a bowl like right. this one because especially people love the glass. I melt the glass in the middle and it does look really pretty. Right. Um, but uh, the other option is to reverse the way you make it. So when you make the bowl, you have the texture inside. Okay. So you yeah. can see the glass in there. Yeah, and the texture is inside so you can see it. Um, but when you make the hanging planter, because you will string it and it will hang above you, right. uh, so you put the texture on the outside actually. Okay. Yeah, and so this kind of hanging planter, um, and then we glaze the inside. You would, could also not glaze the inside. Right. Um, and uh, this student uh, chose to make the hanging planter, so she put her texture on the outside right. and left a hole in the base um, okay. for you know watering, watering. Um, and then she will put an ear plant, a big ear plant inside. Okay. So maybe we won't glaze the inside of this one actually, it's just a little bit more conducive for okay. the plants. And so your students, they pick the leaves that yeah. they want to use? Yeah, they pick the leaves they want to use, we spend about 20-ish minutes doing that and then they can choose from one of four colour options. Okay. So uh, these are under glazes underneath and then I put a clear glaze over the top okay. and these are like a watercolor style under glaze. So first time is the bisque firing yes. and second then you glaze Then it. I do the under glaze and the glaze. So yeah. is it three firings? Two. Two, yeah, two. okay. Yeah. So two glazes, mm. okay. And then to get that glassy texture that's just a clear glaze that goes... So on the outside yeah. where the texture is I use the underglaze to really show up the texture and then put a clear glaze over. Okay. Um, the underglaze is not shiny. Okay. Um, and then um, the inside, I will use another glaze, like okay. a matching colored glaze. So blue for blue, like a kind of clear, right. like this is called celadon, celadon, celadon glaze. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I will use a celadon for this project. Right. Yeah. But oh, some the, of these are not celadon. And the glass, you've used the marble before. Right? Yeah, this is a marble. 
Oh, really? Yeah, but these ones I'll use colored glass that okay. I buy. Yeah, but this was an experiment. Okay. Yeah, so this, this one was just a fun experiment, and then I thought it turned out so nice, I thought, oh, let's make it a workshop. Okay, no, <laughs> Yeah, no. so this is the same salad on the outside. Okay, that's a great idea. Yeah. Now, what I studied, um, maybe we can show some of the coil pieces here, and that again, mm. you can keep it like this, or mm. you can smooth it over to make something else. Yeah, so this is very like, I want to say mid-century modern, very yes. 1960s, 1970s. A lot of people have made these in high school. Right. Um, and I think, I know it, like maybe for adult classes, people are like, I've done this in high school, but I think it's just such a good way to learn. Right. Like coiling is actually more difficult than you think. Yes. And I think having the coils that you can see helps you learn to roll them better. Right. Because you can see them. Right. Whereas if you can, you can of course make this all smooth. Right. But then it doesn't matter how you roll. So right. I feel as a beginner project, right. seeing the coils makes you, forces you to try to perfect your rolling. Right. Yeah, so that's why I choose to keep it this kind of 1960s style. Yeah. yeah. And you can do them like, this was a student's one, she hasn't picked it up yet. Right. Um, and so I also coordinate, uh, I give them about six different coils. I teach right. them about six different coil options. So this is like, we call it the worm. Right. <laughs> um, and then this is a, a stamped, a decorated coil, it's actually a, a, a disc, okay. a coin. And then the straight coil, and we also do like rainbows here. Right. Wonderful. And yeah, and like a fence, I call this a fence. So okay. we teach different coil styles right. yeah, for this. And you're right, it is if you took if you went to school and this is one of the first right? things. Right. Yeah. And you can work from that. You could do a pinch part and a Absolutely. Part, yeah. 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 It'd be a bit a bit thicker. Yes. So these are great. So that's also you can do a workshop of this. Yes, I do run a workshop with this. It's one of my foundational workshops. So I have three foundational workshops that I recommend people do first. One is these coil bases okay. or a planter. You can also make this a planter. Okay. Um, another is the pinch spoon and bowl set. Right. And then we also do um a slab piece as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then now the leaf one. Is the leaf one kind of beginner plus. I would okay. say it is okay for beginners, but if you've done it before, it's oh, this is the other slab cup that okay. we do. So this is the third <clears throat> fundamental. Um, piece that so that do. would start as a slab. You're doing some kind of texture on yeah, it. Yeah, so this starts as a slab. Jonathan's an expert at these okay. yeah, well, yeah. So you lay the flat slab flat, and then you can put whatever pattern you want while it's flat, and then you roll it together. Okay. And you use a template okay. to, to get the right shape. Okay. Because it's easier to do it while it's flat than when it's cut. Okay, right. right. It's one of the advantages over wheel, kind of. Right. So you can have this kind of texture. Mm, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's and true. then you would you could use this as a planter. You could use it as a cup. Yeah, I do. I would do. I do promote this as cups. Yeah. Okay. And and before I made people only make one, but I just changed it to a, lot, a longer workshop where you make two. Because right. a lot of students gave feedback and said, "But we want like, what are we going to do in one cup?" Kind right. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so so now sure. we're doing a yeah. So now we're doing a pair. It just kind of makes. Yeah, no, sense. That's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And I do want to show something. One of the great things that we're learning about Kate is, and Jonathan, is they're great at um, upcycling things, oh, things that are found and having a new purpose. So we're just going to get something and we'll be right back. Okay, so when you come around the house of Kate and Jonathan, you're going to see lots of great pieces of furniture that you wish you had. And something that we also have in common, which is again why we're going to be best friends, or we are best friends, <laughs> yeah. is finding furniture. I was showing Kate that, and Jonathan that I just found this beautiful wicker chair. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we go see the garden, you're going to see pots, things that were your hot water tank you've turned yeah, into a plant. Yeah, like a water tank, yes, yeah. water storage tank, yeah. Yeah, the broken one. Yeah. Is, now, is now a planter <laughs> and just broken pots or something you can reuse. Um, the old paint, the plastic yeah, paint. Yeah, yeah, paint, 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 can, but paint buckets, buckets, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are good. Yeah. So you can use it. And I'm also reusing things. Um, I do a big thing with Earth Day with my students. Great. I think it's important. And one of the things I think is interesting, but Kate was a little bit embarrassed, is this <laughs> is for spinning? Yeah, it's a sculpting wheel. Okay, yeah. sculpting wheel. Yeah. So this leaf pot project would be on here. Yeah, it would be built on this. This is a plaster slump mold. So right. I also made this plaster mold. You just use like fine bowls or anything. Right. Uh, I also upcycled plastic like takeaway containers. Right. Then I pour plaster into them to make molds for future uh, building like um, 
plates or bowls or, or other know. things. Yeah. Right. So this, but this is a very simple slum mold, like a, a basic one. You can also have ones of texture. And okay, like so that. they would take the leaves that they've made. Yes. And place them here, place them here. And here, and here, and here, yeah. and then they would slip and score them all together. So they don't yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I would slip and score them all together. Okay, and then that would be. Do they dry on here? Or? Uh, they dry very until they're about leather hard. Okay. So, and then if you lift them on for too long, yeah. they would shrink around this, right. and then they would maybe potentially crack. Okay. So you have to know exactly when to take them off while they're when they're strong enough that they can hold themselves up. Right. Um, though I do support them with newspaper as well. Some people use sponges, sort of depends. Okay. Um, and it, while they're still drying, just to make sure, because sometimes the weight of the clay here can cause them to fall. Okay. So you have to keep a, a, like watch them like a hawk right. in the first few hours to make sure they're stable enough. Right. By Which themselves. is the thing with. Pottery is very yeah. hands on. It's not like you paint something, you leave it. No, you yeah. think about it. Like you're. I check the every day uh, right. once they're made. Like obviously, when they're first made, I check them every like few hours. But right. then the next after that, I check them every day. Okay. Because if something happens, you only have a very short window to fix it. To fix yeah, it. Yeah. If you start lift over. it, yeah, you'd have to make yeah exactly. Start and over. with students' work, yeah, we can't start over. No. You know, and students really. They care a lot, yeah. especially if they're beginners yeah. about their pieces. Yeah, they put yeah. I do warn people that with pottery, there is always the risk that even something in, could happen. Even in the kiln. Oh, yes, right. for ex even for experienced, very experienced potters. Yeah. I mean, they they have many. Because we always have to knead our clay before, so there's no air bubbles mm. and yes, all yes, of that. Yeah. So yeah. So this. <laughs> Uh, which I think is ingenious is just a flower pot, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then the the spinner sculpting wheel, right? sculpting wheel is actually glued, just glued, glued on, on, and then you've made this mold yourself yes. as well. Yes. So I think that's incredible. Yeah, just by lifting it up, it means you can have a bit of overhang yes. from yes. the leaves. Yeah. Yes, because the leaves are quite long, so they will yeah. hang over. So you need something that um, that lifts it off the ground. If it was yeah. flat on the table, and you had these. Um, I always give them to um, sometimes the ladies at work, the aunties at work, because they just use them around their house oh, to great. plant things. Oh, awesome. Whereas yeah. they want a beautiful thing like this. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. this is another example of Kate and Jonathan reusing things. Now, something new you're working on, you said, were these Yeah, here? that's an upcoming workshop. Okay. Yeah, so um, people can make these curiosity cabinets. Um, these ones, they can be hung on the wall, right. um, but I put um, holes in them. Right. Um, or you can also just put them on your like desktop, you know, like a like a vanity or something like okay. that. Yeah. And this again is like a slab of clay? Yeah, this is all slab built as okay, well. Slab yeah, built. All slab built. So okay. this is porcelain and this Wonderful. is a semi-porcelain, both clays from Taiwan. Okay. Um, I use only local clay because it's cheaper. <laughs> than imported clay. Yeah, where, yeah it's, it's a lot cheaper. Where are you getting your clay? Uh, I, I buy that online. I can share with you this okay. supplier. Glazers.com.tw okay. is a great supplier. Okay. Supplier. And do you know where they get their clay? Uh, I don't know about the details of that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll but you can certainly out. ask them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because there is the town north near Taiwan. They are based in Inga. Yeah, okay, because there's the town north near Taipei where they have Inga. all Inga. Is yeah. it Inga? Inga. Yeah, yeah, we went there and got all our teapots yeah, and stuff. Great. Let's go there yeah. together. Yeah, well, the, Field the, trip. <laughs> the ceramics museum there is actually incredible. Like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, so right. good. Yeah. I, I think it's like, if you don't know much about ceramics too, yeah. they have like this whole section yeah. teaching you all of the different like glaze technology, yeah. like uh, how clay is made. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. 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 The stages everything goes through. Yeah, it's yeah. really well done. I bought a yeah. bunch of things because I have a Japanese tea room and I bought all the teapots and cups. Oh, and we have it. the formal ones and the oh, informal nice. ones. So this again, we're gonna take a field trip there. <laughs> These are wonderful. So maybe when this is that workshop, I'll yeah, it's in two that. weeks. And explain to me this background. How are you doing that? Uh, this is a transfer. Actually, these ones are Elan transfers. Okay. So E L A N transfers. It's an American company, but okay. there's tons of transfer okay. makers now, okay. and they are underglaze transfers. So you buy it as a sheet, and it has the underglaze printed on it, wow. and then you just 
put it onto your clay and then uh, wet it, like dampen it with this and push it on with a sponge and right. it will stay on the clay. So you can do it at a greenware stage right. or you can do it at bisque. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I always do it at greenware. So it's like those kid tattoos that you Yeah, 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 like that. Okay. Yeah. And okay. so there, there's many companies. Elon Transfers is the one I like, but there's right. actually a lot, like so many people making these. And now. so you would have a bunch of them and then your students could Yeah, and you can also make custom ones if you want to, which is obviously more expensive. So I buy, what I do for students is I, uh, Elon Transfers has an off cuts. Okay. Like pack. Right. So it's just like whatever they have at the time and it's like the end of their sheets. Right. And so you can buy that for like really cheap. Right. And then you get all different patterns, like 10 I think minimum. Right. And so that way it's great for students because they're not using a lot, they're practicing. Yeah. So yeah. you don't want to like, you know, and then once they, I give them some small off cuts to practice and then yeah. they can choose a bigger one. Mix and match, make it like a I collage. like this mix and match yeah. option. Yeah. And it'd be nice if it was, you could do a tray or something. You could do anything. And then yeah. just have a bunch because I like yeah. a lot of collage things. So this is going to be the new workshop and you keep it answering all the questions before I can come up with them because my main one was the clay. Now I was telling you that I studied in Mexico yeah. and they had clay all over the place, yeah. even in the desert, yeah, which I cool. couldn't understand, but we would go to the town. So we, we should take a little trip next time we're going to Inga. I do need a few more uh, trays for my mm, Yeah, for sure. Room, so, great. Yeah. And you would be good to go with because I just go crazy, but you, you can just make one with me. Me. Yeah, but you can focus <laughs> focus me on what I should uh, be getting. Yes. And we're also going to go to Korea together because okay. uh, the kimchi pots in Korea. Yeah, I would like to know how to make those. Yeah, those, yeah. that's a whole thing too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And uh, I haven't technique. done the class, but I've, I've seen them do it. Mm. And some of them are huge. I'd love to have them. So we are going to have a quick look at Kate's studio. And she also has a workspace downstairs. So we'll post the schedule for her workshops. You can see here, there's lots of different uh, classes that you can take. You can build on them, start with one, work to the next. And also she has some pieces for purchase downstairs in her little work area. So we're gonna go look at her studio now. Thank you. Okay, we're in the studio, and what do you use this table for? Uh, this is our wedging table, so it's for when the clay, you have like different pieces of clay, you can like join them all back together again and make them smooth by wedging them. Okay, Yeah. And you're getting the air bubbles out and yep, everything. Yeah, getting the air bubbles out, making it more homogenous. Okay, yeah. and nice and sturdy and strong, you've yeah. got to get your body in it. And then yes. you've got... And the right height is important perfect. for your back. Yes, yeah. exactly. Not that, that we need to worry about backhand yeah. or anything, because we're, <laughs> we're young. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 young. We're, yeah. we're young and dumb. And this, you've got a wheel here. Yeah, so this is um, a creative industries wheel from, uh, like, the, they stopped making them in, like, the 90s, and amazingly, I found this in Taiwan, so it's pretty weird find for Taiwan. <laughs> Normally, these are only found in America. Right. Um, and then this one, I... It's a good industrial strength wheel, so it's got a big wheel head on this one. Okay. And then I put a mirror at the back, which just helps you to see what's happening at the back of your pot when you're throwing. And you get to look at yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try not to, yeah. Great yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. <laughs> Struggling with your clay, yeah. And what's this area? Oh, so this is, my, this is my work space, right. and then this is Jonathan's work space. Okay. So I tend to do like a lot of stuff. I, I tend to put like a lot of stuff here, but Jonathan's Fast, yes, more I'm minimalist. Right. I'm yeah. Getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> so we just have little knickknacks and like I make some ceramic jewelry. So I have like like uh, findings in right. here and then like just little scrap things and then weird things that I collect like you right. know seeds and rocks. I the love buttons. this one. Look at this. Oh, wonderful. I, do, I find these like quite good inspiration for glazing and yes. stuff, you know. And is this where you'd be doing some final details on this? This is like where I would build things, okay. actually. Yeah. Because yeah. you've made even your earrings, right? Yeah, yeah. Even the <laughs> these earrings. are new earrings, too, that I want to make. Yeah. Okay. And so these little ones. <laughs> okay. So that's but I have to attack, I have to use epoxy, like a gold epoxy, right. to join the finding on the back. Okay. So this is. Kate's workspace. Yeah. And then this is Jonathan's. Yes, I work here. Um, I'm working on cups at the moment, and I've got these. I'm into biking, so I use these tires to make oh, cool. the pattern. So I, when it's when the clay is laid flat, the slab's flat, and then you can roll the pattern on it. Cool. Our friend three D printed this oh, yeah. roller for us, which oh, is wow. the size of a bike yeah. tire. Yeah. So thanks for that. Yeah. 
Um, and then of course pottery is a bit of trial and error with glazes, seeing what works together. So I've done all these tests and I've come up with four that I like that colours that go together. So these colours will become big cups. Right. Yeah. And we can show you this style of cup downstairs. Yeah, we've got a few more, yeah. And then is this something you made as well? Is that a filter or something? Oh, this is a... Uh, well, Kate made this a while ago, but it's a... Uh, bit too short. Kind of an though. amplifier. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So cool. For music and... Jonathan is thinking about doing a couple of other workshops, because my workshops tend to attract mostly women, and we're thinking he might run a couple as well. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> guys, I um, yeah. But So yeah. he's thinking to do this this but hand built okay, and cool. then also one of these yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, that'd be cool. and maybe cups for beer or yeah, so yeah. Interesting. and this is also your signature yeah yeah so oh, I've got triple B is is my Instagram page and then I want to keep kind of like I want to zoom on that I don't know if that works but yeah and do you have a stamp too yes I also okay. have a stamp so this I got made from a company in America, so this is a lead stamp actually. So oh, you've cool. got to be a bit careful because it's lead, but you just have to wash your hands after you <laughs> Don't use like it. it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, and so this is actually my handwriting. Oh, I got cool. made into it, so how I write my name, I got it made into a stamp. So cool. you just send them your script, so, right. like your writing, and right. then they make, make it. it wonderful. Yeah, it's really cool. Cool. <laughs> and this is looking very technical over here. Is this for? Figuring out glazes uh, yeah, this or... This is mostly like, uh, these are all our tools and they're sorted by like what type of tool. So it's just like if you have more than one person in a studio, you kind of have to make sure everything goes back in the same place. Otherwise, it's really hard to find <laughs> things. Right. And then here we have all our glaze test tiles. Um, like these are all... So we do use some commercial glazes. Right yeah. now I'm learning how to make my own glazes, right. but um, I'm just brand new. So we use a lot of commercial glazes from Taiwan and from America and at the moment. That's these ones here. So, yeah, this is all, the, all our glazes. Okay. And the most recent glazing, uh, I did just do some kiss tiles. And here is my first, my very first, um, these two are like a layered glaze. Uh, and so I made these two glazes and then this is how they turned out. Oh, yeah, cool. so that's, that's that one. And this is my favorite from the test as well. Oh, it has yeah. like I think rivulets. I like this one you had it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's almost like metallic. Yeah, or, it's cool, right? Yeah, yeah. anything blue, blue and Galaxy, white. Galaxy, yeah. I'm all about blue and white. So this was like my very first glaze I made by myself. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, but I'm only just starting in that course. So, right. Yeah. No, that will be cool. Yeah, yeah, glazes, so, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, that's alright. Glazes are interesting because there's a difference between if you brush on one layer or three layers right. and they have different reactions Also, dipping versus pouring. Or dipping yeah, and pouring, yeah. Right. yeah. Experimentation. And, and I always found it so amazing that it could go on orange and then come out green. Yeah, or, yeah. Like, I, I wasn't able yes, to yes. imagine the end product. No, you, that's why you need test tiles. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you need to do a lot of testing. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, like, yeah, here we have, like, under glazes. Um, again, these are from Taiwan, like different application methods. So, like, um, these are like squeezy bottles, so you right. can make really thin, um, thin like lines of glaze or under glaze. Right. Um, like marbles, crayons, you can use as wax resist. Right. Yeah. So we oh, have like that. a lot of yeah. wax resist. Um, yeah, you and can use it to write. Yeah. 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 And, and then yeah. it will yeah resist the glaze. Then here's brushes and. These are mold making things right. like heat to make molds from. Right. Yeah. And then this is a sensitive um, scale. And then is this for things that are going to be? Yeah, this is like things that are drying or things that are maybe bisque as well. These are all right. test tiles that haven't been used yet. Uh, so these are for glazing. And right. then these are the different types of clay we use in our studio. Right. And these are called shrink bars. And then here we also have old work that we just didn't want to like throw out or anything. But yeah, we just did a fire on Friday, so everything's done at the moment. Right. Yeah. And this is some clay that's ah, doing away there. Recycled clay. Yeah, yeah recycled yeah. clay. The good thing about clay is until you fire it, it's endlessly recyclable. Yeah, so. and it can be forever years old, yes, right? totally, yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is like, um, at the moment we're only recycling three, so this is like a scraps that we just don't care about that much so we put it all in together right. and then we use for like testing maybe making test tiles okay. and then we have the white bucket and then this one is a semi porcelain okay so those are the main three we're using in the studio and we also use terracotta but i don't seem to have much to recycle for that for no reason, so. people just use it yeah. so you can see that if you're going to be doing something with ceramics 
it's quite detailed mm. and you know you have to make the piece and then you have to glaze the piece and yeah. it's things can happen at every stage yes. <laughs> which is probably why I moved into printmaking yeah. <laughs> where you have more control yeah so that is the studio uh, we are going to do a quick funny photo of the ghost movie reenactment on the wheel <laughs> and then we're gonna see her other workspace downstairs <laughs> okay And then look, look lustfully. <laughs> okay, now let's have a look at Kate's rooftop garden. Okay, we're now on the first floor, and this is another workspace for Kate and Jonathan. So here's a workspace. We can do some lino cut here, which we're going to do together because we're now best friends. <laughs> this is things that Kate has for sale on the shelf here. And these are some pieces from your classes. Mm, and then yeah. this is our pendants that we made when we had the oneness event at House 27 and this is all kiln furniture so like the shelves we put in the kiln and there's a few different shelves we have and stands and other things and in the corner here is the star of this area <laughs> this is your own kiln here and can we open it yeah we can can we open and look inside of it so this is uh, hardwired into the electrics for safety. Okay. And um, this one you just open like this. This is a second hand kiln. It's actually pretty old now. It's from probably the 2000s. Wonderful. Yeah, but we got it second hand in Elon and then they shipped it over for like 3000 NT. It was pretty Wonderful. decent. Yeah. So it has a shelf in there now and then we use those things here these, um, to put each shelf on so you'd put that in the four corners and then you put another shelf on top right. of them yeah yeah and this is made of materials fire brick yeah, yeah okay it's all coming back to me now yeah and then we also have like the pyrometric cones um so you use these to test the heat work or the temperature but it's actually heat work it's a little bit different situation right. yeah so these are all for different temperatures yeah right yeah like wood for different cons, so yeah, but so it's a whole can, thing in itself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is another <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole aspect of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dealing with glazes. And they've been they've been done yeah. depending on the temperature. The heat work, actually. The heat works, yeah. oh yeah. 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 So this will tell you uh, this one's over fire, it right. should come to about here. Right. So that you want it to be about here. Yeah. And this one's under fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean you put you put three in, so you want you want your middle one to hit the, the heat work, the range, the cone you want. Yeah. And I'm, of course, <laughs> thinking of other things right now. <laughs> I've, I've got a gutter, I've got a gutter mind there. <laughs> so we're going to come back and look at our pendants once they have the glaze. They've been fired once, bis fired. They've been bis fired now, and yes. And then we're going to glaze it. We'll come back and see that. Mm. And then we'll come back and see our hand pinch spoon that we yes. made. So Kate has things for sale. We're gonna put up the schedule of the workshop, or you can just come by for a chat like we yeah, did today. Yeah, pop in. Okay, so we've seen the rooftop garden. We're in the workshop. We've seen your studio. We've seen your little workspace downstairs. We wanna thank you so much for your time and for the tour, both of you. And we will be back to see my little pendant that we made at the Open the Oneness Festival at house 27 and we'll also come back to see my gorgeous pinch spoon once that's ready so thank you so much for your time thank you i really appreciate um coming in and seeing everything and chatting with us it's been really great thank you it's been wonderful so we will see you on the next episode <laughs> <laughs>